As I understood the layout of this threat experiment, there should be a threat detection between the CFP and YFP pair, and then detection of a, a third floor for which is far red Alexa 680. And there should be three tracks used in this experiment. Track one would be for excitation and detection of CFP only. Track two would be for excitation and detection of YFP and Alexa 680. And track three will be for detection of sensitized emission of YFP, where you use excitation light for CFP and emission detection range for YFP. And the problem is how to keep this switch track every line option still available. I will configure our now track one by one. So for CFP, you want to use 405. And then there should be a corresponding main beam splitter 405, this one. And then I'm going to use the detector 1 to detect CFP, and I will ask the software to show me the emission curve for it. This fits pretty well, and then I will also color code it into cyan. Okay. The track 2 would be... So this is CFP track. And this will be YFP plus Alexa 680. Mm -hmm. So in this track, I will excite and detect YFP and Alexa 680. For excitation of these two fluorophores, I need 540 nanometer laser line and 633 nanometer laser line. This one will be for YFP, this will be for Alexa. And then I need a corresponding main beam splitter. Come on. And there is no dedicated main beam splitter for combination of these two laser lines. There is no 514 slash 633. So the only option I have here is the MBS T80 R20. Transmission 80%, reflection 20%. This one will reflect independently on the wavelength 20% of intensity and transmit 20% of intensity of the light. And then I need to use two other detectors here. And on the super sensitive detector, our quasar detector, I'm going to detect YFP. Oh, and here's its emission curve. I will color code it into yellow. And on the G2 detector, I'm going to detect Alexa Fluor 680. And I will color code it as red. Mm -hmm. And the third track will be for fret. No, fret. Um, and fret in this case uh, will be the sensitized emission of YFP. So I need to have four or five laser line on to excite CFP. And then I want to detect YFP. And for this I can select exactly the same range and exactly the same detector as I'm using in the track 2. So I go here, come on. And it automatically matches the detection range in track 2 and track 3. Every line uh, switch between the tracks is very, very fast, and confocal uh, hardware cannot move fast enough the main beam splitters. It cannot adjust the pinhole fast enough, and it cannot also move the prisms and sliders fast enough. The settings of the MBS, prisms and sliders position, and pinhole have to be compatible for all three tracks. So once again, 405 will be bounced off MBS 405, to the sample, here the CFP emission will happen. It will be longer wavelengths than 405, so it will make through this beam splitter easily. And 80% of it will make it through this main beam, beam splitter to the detector 1. In this track, come on. 514 and 633 laser lines will be reflected by this. Uh, main beam splitter towards the sample, 
and YFP and Alexa floor emission will happen in the sample uh, and will be guided very easily through this MBS because it reflects only 405 and 80 percent of both these emissions will make it to the detector S1 and 2 and in the fret This is the laser line for excitation of CFP. It will be guided by this main beam slitter towards the sample. And then emission of YFP and CFP will be guided towards this detector. But only the YFP emission range will be detected here. So when I click on live, there are no warning messages or errors because all the settings are for all three tracks are com intercompatible. I don't have any sample with expression of CFP, YFP and far red, so I cannot actually see how efficient this excitation emission detection is. But I hope it's fine. What I really would advise to do is to, to go from the 405 laser for CFP to switch to the 458 nanometer laser. And then you don't need this MBS and this main beam splitter is not selective to laser lines, so you can use it for any laser lines available. Then the settings will be slightly different, so there will be 458 guided by this main beam splitter, splitter towards the sample. Exciting CFP, CFP will be detected here. Here nothing will change. And in FRED there will be also 458 guided by this main beam splitter and then there will be no UV uh, laser and then this of course should be adjusted accordingly and the main reason for switching from 405 to 458 is avoiding the crosstalk and autofluorescence